And you see right away, Shawnee Monahan didn't start boxing until he was 19 years old. So now he is at the age of 35. He said, look, I don't feel old. I know 35 looks old, but I don't feel it. He is 28 and 0. Marcus Brown in his prime, 26. He is the taller man and again, has the perfect record. The US Olympian, he is the prospect, the man on the move. Let's go to Ray Flores in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Fox from Uniondale, New York. Premier Boxing Champions now features 10 rounds in the light heavyweight division. The three judges ringside are Glenn Feldman, Sean McCabe, I should and Robin ringside, Taylor. Right? And the referee in charge when the bell sounds is Steve Willis. I'm Irish Shawnee Monaghan. This is the closest to home I've ever fought, and my crowd is going to be here making serious noise. Marcus and I go way back, but that's all out the window today. It's my time. Wearing the black trunks with the green and the gold trim. His professional record, a perfect one. 28 wins, 17 of those coming by way of knockout against no defeats. Ellen, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shawnee. Sir Marcus Brown, Staten Island's finest, unbeaten. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the blue and the black. As professional, he too is undefeated. 19 wins, 14 of those coming by way of KO. From Staten Island, New York. He is the 2012 U.S. Olympian, Sir Marcus Brown. Give him opportunity 
to knock the cobwebs out. As we take another look at this one. That's belt line. This belt line, I... It's, it's technically low, but it's good, you know, but, you know, go either way. He said, shot can go either way. Burns your thoughts on that one? Well, my hand bent down. So when you bend down, you come right into the front. So you could call it borderline or belt line. It's to the referee's discretion. And what he called before the fight, he hit the dressing room. Stick jab there by Marcus Brown. See, right here, he's just standing right in front of him, and he's actually going to his right. That's going into Brown's left hand. He should be going the opposite way, going to his left hand, stay away from that power hand. He's just standing right in front of Brown, and that's why he's getting hit with those left hands. Monty had expected a tough fight early on. He seems to be wanting the fight to get to the second half yes. of the contest, so he's expected a tough fight. He said, I'm typically a slow starter, but I know with Marcus Brown, he's usually a fast starter, so I need to start fast in this fight. Here's the right hook that he said he needs to be cognizant of, of Marcus Brown. There's another left hand, the uppercut by Brown. Fight, put the pressure on him. He's not going to win this fight on the outside, standing in front of him. He gonna get, he's going to get tagged up all day. P.A.L. Jim. This is round two. Monaghan went down in round one. It's Brown working off that jab. Monaghan is trying to go to his left now a little bit more to get away from Marcus Brown's left. Let's see if he can make an adjustment. Off a little bit more head movement he's trying to give him. There's that right hook. Stuns Monaghan. He's against the rope to the trip. Probably the top dog in the light heavyweight division in Andre Ward. What are your thoughts here about Marcus Brown, who told us he needed this victory because he wants a title shot? He was looking squarely, he said that Adonis Stevenson. What do you think? Well, what he just played tonight shows that he's on his way and he's in position to get a title shot. He showed his pedigree, he showed his Olympic and amateur pedigree, and he showed his determination against a sparring partner who knew a lot about him. It was a great performance. Great sportsmanship there. Listen, he knows the corner. He knows the people of Shawnee Monahan. They go back a long way as he gets hugs from Joe Higgins and Shawnee's corner. I was like, come on, man. As the doctors make sure yeah, Shawnee's okay. Take it, take it, Another look at the stoppage here. As Marcus Brown remains unbeaten. When we come back, the official time of this stoppage. You're watching the PBC here on Fox. Welcome back. We're in Long Island here in New York inside the NYCB live home of the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum as Marcus Brown remains unbeaten as he stops Shawnee Monahan. Let's take a look here. This is round one with the first night, and you said it right out of the gate, Danny. You said, listen, if my man stands in front of him, it could be a long night for him. Yeah, I noticed he was just walking straight in with his hands up, you know, with the earmuffs. And I, when you fight a southpaw, you never do that because they love the straight left hand, and he just went right into it. Yeah, unfortunately for Shawnee Monahan, it was a short night as opposed to a long night. It was. He did want to get to the second half of the fight, Brian. But what's uh, interesting is he said the very much he said he needed to look out for him, is the very much to start to play out the right hook. It was a beautiful temper shot he never saw and he never felt. Marcus Brown, 2012 Olympian, says he is dying for a shot at the world title. Certainly helped himself here this evening as we take a look 
And your punch stats. Marcus Brown threw 100 punches. He landed 40% of the punches. When you landed 40%. You got yourself a good night. Let's get the official time on the stoppage. Get Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 40 seconds of the second round for your winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Sir Marcus Brown. Marcus Brown now 20 and 0, 15 now have come by knockout and you can see the graduation from prospect is certainly contender now in that light heavyweight division. He's the winner, and he's standing by with our Brian Kinney. All right, Brian, thank you so much. Uh, Marcus, congratulations to you. Nice work in there. You were fighting a guy that you're very familiar with. What was it like being in the ring with Shawnee? Uh, I just want to thank Sean, Joe, and those guys for giving me the opportunity, taking the fight. Um, it was very tough. Uh, this is a guy that I got real love for, and uh, I just had to take care of business and do what I had to do. You look very relaxed early, pumping out the jab. Was the familiarity helpful to you that you knew this guy? You look very relaxed and poised. Well, not necessarily. It's just boxing. That's the basic punch in, the, in boxing. You got to start with your jab and end with it. And uh, that's what we did. We opened up things with it and uh, got the job done. What about the low shot? Uh, well, the referee, George Willis, said um, the cup. The belt line was a little bit lower, so um, I thought I thought I was going to catch it with a flush body shot, and it went a little south for the border. I apologize, and uh, we moved forward, and we did what we had to do. First knockdown, then straight left. How would you set that up? Well, I set it up with my jab, and I felt the I caught him with a with a, um, a right hook, and uh, that just basically finished the job, and that's about it. But. Yeah, that's it. And then you came back again with a beautiful hook after that. Was that anything you were trying, or did that just opened up to you? Nah, it just opened up. I was just loose, relaxed, and just started to let things flow. And uh, as you can see, we got the stoppage, and uh, that's about it. I just want to thank God for keeping both of us safe, because we both have beautiful babies. I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank my team. I want to thank Fox for um, just um, allowing me to display my talents on your network. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Al, call me, baby. All right, so one quick thing. Who do you want next? What do you want to do? Uh, I want to Donna Stevenson next. I want to fight for that strap and bring it back home to New York City. All right, congratulations to you. Congratulations to Staten Island. Marcus, good work. Shawnee, best of luck in the future. Brian, back to you.